Hey you guys, Saffron is back in today's video and in this particular video, let's talk about the GTA 5 custom controls for your Winlater emulator. So guys, I've been uploading GTA 5 videos on emulator from some days and a lot of people were asking to me about my controls. So what controls I use in Winlater. So basically, as you know that uh, the controls that I use is actually customized, right? And it has, you know, so many buttons like you usually get in keyboard. So to get complete PC experience, I use that custom controls file. As you also use the default control files in Winlater, but I believe that you should install custom controls for your games basically this control file that i'm going to give you in today's video will give you amazing experience and the most important thing is that you can actually use this control file to play any of your favorite game because it contains the real keyboard buttons and mouse touchpad that will going to help you to control your game in a better way so guys if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe this channel and also visit the channel turn on the bell notification icon to get the new update because you know i always upload gta related emulation related content on this channel so if you are interested to watch this kind of video so make sure to support these videos basically let's start the win later i am going to show you that what is the practical purpose how can you you know uh, apply that file in your win later emulator now so as you can see that we have opened our uh, win later and i am using the latest win later 9.1.1 winebox 64 which i just uploaded the video on the channel yesterday and if you did not see that video because in that video i shown you the complete setup the complete setting optimized settings for your phone to play pc games if you did not install that emulator just watch that video and install that emulator because it that emulator gonna give you amazing performance now uh, so to set the controls now what you have to do is to click on the input in, uh, input controls when you click on the input controls you no know, you uh, you will get this kind of interface you can install my control file in any win later emulator that you are using right now you don't need to update your win later for my file to install you can just go into the input controls and they here you can see the profile in profile you usually get the rts template uh, 12 buttons virtual gamepad but in this uh, i am using this gta 5 cg which is i think the best cg the controller um, that i think i really like and now so uh, what you can do uh, to aid my control file is to just click on the import profile import profile when you click on the import profile you can just click on the open file option now when you click on the open file option it will uh, going to redirect you the, the download folder so you have to go to the folder where you just downloaded that file and the file will going to get you in the pin comment section so make sure to check that particular video because i can't so since I can't provide you the direct link because of the YouTube community guideline strike, it's going to violate some of the YouTube policies. So you have to go to, through the complete video in the pinned comment section. Now, what we will going to do is to um, click on the uh, control file that we just downloaded. Here you can see the Mr. Uh, GT5 Mr. Saffron ICP. So basically it's ICP file which gives you the controls. Basically it's a control file, right? Like uh, you have PNGs file, JPG files for your photos, no? Likewise, you will get this GTA 5 Mr. MR, uh, like basically it's a Mr. Saffron YT uh, control file. Okay, so uh, now what you have to do, just click on this. Okay, now we got this. Here you can see the GTA 5 CG, right? You can see here GTA 5 CG basically is that file also. So, uh, as you seen that we got this file here, and now we can use this file. Basically, you can also customize uh, the uh, controls that you want. So, when I click on the controls editor, you can see this will be the controls file that you will going to get, and you can also customize some of the you know buttons right here. You can uh, um, adjust the you can adjust any button that you want and i think yeah that would be like good to me and yeah so you can use these uh, controls to play i won't do anything for now and for the uh, cursor speed and the overlay opacity you can adjust this according to yourself so i would go with the 25 percent opacity that would be like good for me and if i increase this to 100 percent let's see 
that we can use uh, we can see the preview of it or not uh, so I think it it seems very similar in in this section but when you play the game bro uh, when you are playing the game the overlay opacity is actually mattered so I would set this at 25% and it would be ideal for me so yeah and let's increase the cursor settings it's optional for you guys so yeah just set this and now we are we are ready to go bro we just have to open a game uh, let's say I, I am opening the GTA 5 and click on the settings right here and uh, by the way if you don't know how did I create this uh, game shortcut so you can watch that particular video that I just made yesterday and here in that particular video now you will get everything that you should know about the win later optimization and the setup okay so I just made this shortcut and I'll go into settings in the shortcut setting and you can also you know adjust your controls from here so you know when you open your game you don't need to apply your controls manually you will get in uh, automatically control so it would be very nice for us nice so you just have to click on the setting gt5 launcher the advanced session and you will see the profile he here you have to set your uh, control file that you just imported earlier and we have set up this all the files like basically it's a profile gta 5 cg now click on the ok and when you open your game you will see this control file here and it's looking so good it's giving us pc y because it is giving us the l shift l uh, alt and the escape button enter button tab button right space button and the g button e button okay so i have uh, reduce the opacity of the controls you can also adjust the opacity of your controls from just here yeah you can just uh, adjust this so i would go with the 100% for now overlay opacity 100% for now i just wanted to show you as a demonstration purpose uh, i would go with this now you can see the overlay op opacity has increased and we can now see our control but i think it's not a drastic change in the control so I think we may need to you know uh, restart the emulator to apply the settings so like you can add uh, see by yourself but the actual process of applying controls in your game is this process only so you can see that the game is running and the controls we are getting uh, it's the similar control that we just installed and there was a final process to you know get the controls to play gta 5 or to play other any other game that you want so uh, to make this video simple i won't do anything right now but if you have any question you can comment down in the comment section and if you want to see similar videos in the future make sure to like this video and also subscribe the channel and if you face any problem make sure to join the telegram channel message there my admin will going to reply your message any problem that you are facing just go to my telegram channel and also join the saffron family chat group there and you will able to you know send your favorite messages there